Well, that's right. Captured Pokemon are in the state you. Right. Do they have to be in red to capture? They don't. Um, Jade Beetle's keen eye prevents accuracy balls. Oh, that's okay. Cool. Honestly, you you could if you if you really wanted to. You, sometimes you could actually get it to work just throwing a Pokeball at him right away. Like it, it it does happen, and actually in in other games there is a quick ball where it actually works better the sooner you use it in a battle. Oh neat. So like pretty much if you just walk in and use it right away, it has a much higher chance of being successful than. All right, Corey. Okay, Corey's asleep at the moment, but will that will that wake him or? Uh, well, I mean it it really just depends. Uh, he'll he'll wake up on his own. Like, you can't really rush him waking up unless you have an item called an Awakening, which I do believe you bought a couple of those. Yeah, but I'm going to be going back to the Poke Center right after this, and he's barely hurting him. Just okay, fair enough, then. It, Corey needs to learn to wake up on his own. His laziness has been dragging down the team for some time now. <laughs> which is funny, because that's the exact opposite of what's actually the case. <laughs> All right, now. There we go. Not very effective, but six level 16 versus 6. Yeah, what are you going to do? Die. Pretty much. Nothing to do but die. Just like last Starfighter. Oh, you ever see, Jesus. Did you ever see that movie? I actually haven't. Um, there, There's surprisingly a lot of movies that I missed up on, missed out on growing up. The, the head, the, the head, ev well, not the head evil guy, but the... The the, evil, the the leader of the evil and evil alien fleet is like has the most badass death ever. I won't spoil it. Neat, but yeah, like to, just to give you an idea of how sheltered I was for a time, um, I didn't see the first Indiana Jones movies, like the first three, until I was twenty. Really? Yeah. Well, I I actually don't think I saw Last Crusade until I was into my twenties. Like I said, I hadn't even seen the first one. Oh, okay. I didn't see any of the Die Hard movies until I was, like, 30 years old. I don't know why. Jesus. It's not like I don't like action movies. It just... Yeah, I didn't I didn't see any of the Die Hard movies until a couple years ago myself. All right, now, let's see. All right, now, onward. Does that work? Oh, wait, let's, okay, let's cool. head over to that p computer. We can tr get our, uh... We can download them. <laughs> We can download Mankey into a corporeal body and... <laughs> yes. And for that ma and also figure out who we're going to, uh, be uploading. Switch out, yeah. Can I do that in Poke Center? You can. This is for items. Mm-hmm. How do I, uh... How do I... Oh, wow. You should have your... It's yeah, someone's PC. Oh, Pokemon storage system. You have to deposit before you can withdraw, obviously. Yeah. Let's see, there's... Metapod, J... I can't... Well, I, I kind of want to see what our two bug-type Pokemon turn into when they come out of those cocoons. Okay. Um, just as a general suggestion, mm -hmm. I, I would definitely recommend as much type diversity as possible. Okay. So with uh, with your Pidgey and your Spiro being the exact same type, I would recommend switching one of those out. Okay. Well, we haven't got really a chance to see the Spiro in action yet, so... Okay, right. Okay, we'll put the Pidgey in the box for now. What's Mark do? Oh, uh, you see those little symbols that are at the bottom of yes. this little window there? The diamond, the square, yeah. Yeah, yeah. You can you can fill one of those or all of them if you want to. And that's a way of like marking your Pokemon. It's it's useful if you have a whole bunch of the same you know, oh, the I same see. one. Yeah, I can see that being handy. Cause I know like in the later games, like when I'm breeding, uh, there are six different marks on those, which I use usually to mark which of the six different stats it's best with. Oh, okay. Just to kind of keep it separated, you know, for my use. So. That's neat that they have like like a set of like a sort of like a filing system that you can like assign your own meaning to. Mm -hmm. That's handy. All right. Thank you. Wait, 
What's party Pokemon? Oh, those are the ones that are actually oh, okay. in your... Nice. They're not, like, heavy to party, but that's just... <laughs> well, you might say they are. You guys are just having a blast of beating the shit out of everyone in your path. Reveling in the blood of their enemies. <laughs> Let's look at the Pokédex at our new, uh... Just be, like, sitting in a circle with your Pokémon screaming at them, WHAT IS BEST IN LIFE?! <laughs> Ivysaur. Plant bulb on its back. When it absorbs nutrients, the bulb is said to blossom into a large flower. Yep, which is exactly what happens when it evolves. Well, this thing's a foot taller. Yep. And almost twice as heavy. Yep. Oh, it's a lot angrier looking, yeah. <laughs> this, this guy's really... Bulbasaur just looks so happy, and now this Ivysaur's guy, like, for, I'm a This guy's out for blood. Up. Now, what are those little those little symbol there? There's like the little. Oh, it's his footprint. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Charmander, Caterpie, Metapod. See how Metapod doesn't even have a footprint? Oh yeah. <laughs> oh, he's big. Kind of disturbingly big, in fact. It's pretty large. I can't help but wonder how big Kakuna is. Yeah. In comparison. Oh, so let's see how big, uh... I just want this. Oh! That's kind of a neat feature that they have, that, like, that human to Pokemon compared. It is kind of neat, just to see that perspective. Also pretty big. Not as big as Metapod. Yeah. Spiro. He busily flits around here in the... Oh, yeah, he's got the mirror. Mm-hmm. He's a teeny bird. I get this. Oh, you have to actually catch them to... Okay. Yep, you have to have caught them to have all that all information. Right. Light and agile on its feet and ferocious in temperament. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yep. It's got, like, chicken feet. That's weird. Kind of. Well, I mean, look how its feet are shaped. Yeah. I mean... It's only a foot tall, but 61 pounds. Yeah, he's a stocky little shit. Did he fly? No. Well, I mean, he kind of levitates a little okay, bit. Okay, yeah. I mean, I, I mean, I'm assuming he doesn't, like, walk on his elbows or whatever. Yeah, no. <laughs> that would be kind of funny. Well, either way, their footprint isn't going to show up until you've actually caught them. So, even if it did have one, it wouldn't show you. Alright, guys are all healed up. Looks like they're ready to go. Serious in nature. Oh, yeah, you can see. Heals the body by shedding. Okay. Oops. Let's see, look at their special abilities. He does not look relaxed in nature to me. I have not looked like Ups grass moves. Keen eye, prevents loss of accuracy. Oh, okay, like Pidgey. Prevents sleep. Hardy nature. Okay. Once more into the into the savage wilderness. Where everyone is just w lying in wait to attack this innocent passing child for some reason. So All we're right. doing that, right? They all just like have to bow in shame as I pass by. Now that I've them. You ready to die? Better take a rest. That tunnel from Cerulean takes a lot out of you. Route 3, Mountain Man. Oh, where there's those reported po fossil thefts, as I recall. Oh, wild Nidoran uh, male appears. Go oh, well. Nice. It's only level 6. Here. That's 
an odd name for a, for a, for a movement. Oh no, poison point, poison L. Oh, shed skin. Oh, that just, I was just, that move came in handy. Oh, heck. All right, what else? Logan, go. Low kick. Type. F There's no. Oh, it's type fight. So, what does that do exactly? What, like, what, what does fighting damage? What's that good against? Oh, um, well, it's it's good against normal types, rock types. Critical hit. It's not very effective. Hmm. Not against. Oh, it's super effective. All right. All right. Okay, Logan, it seems this was not the ideal time to deploy you. All right. Henny! Clear. That's foul. Attacking. Growl. Flying. Attack. Attack. Okay, it's in, the it's in red. Let's... Let's get him. is ours. Its large ears are flapped like wings when it is listening to distant sounds. It extends toxic barbs when angered. Raise one foot high. Twenty pounds. Okay. I've already got Jay Beetle, so I had another fellow Let's Player that I've done I do stuff with. My friend uh, Modi Apparandus. Or just Modi. Great guy. If you're, on, if you're yeah, if, yeah, you'll be watching this on, on YouTube. Check out like my featured pages on my main YouTube main screen. He's listed as his channel as well. Why does it? Why is it just someone's PC? I don't get that. I don't. Well, it's someone's PC because you haven't met the person yet. Oh, so there's some mysterious shadowy figure who's. Behind all this. Well, he he made the system. If I recall, those birds, they're like pretty effective against bug types. Yes. Well, flying type moves flying in particular. Type, nice. okay. Gotcha. So that's why the birds are effective, but they only are once they actually learn a flying type move. Taking a bit of a risk here. Okay, now I'm gonna swap someone else. Bird versus bird. Ah, keen eye. Your powers are useless against me. <laughs> Even now, even now, presented with their ultimate futility, they will not stop at the st st status attack. Nope. It's like it's like the trainers are just like, what? Why didn't that work? Let me try it again. <laughs> All right. All right. Oh, route four. Wow, that's the boulder bed. You got it from Brock, didn't you? Brock is cool. Heck yeah. He's not just tough. People like and respect him. I want to become a gym leader like him. Now, what do gym leaders do when they're not, like, you know, being challenged? Train? That's about it. Sure. I tripped over a rocky Pokemon. Geodude! Damn you, Geodude! 